With the release of Geometry Dash Update 2.206, I got to thinking about some features that I might want added to Geometry Dash in future updates. These are things that range from trivial and easy to add, all the way to being pretty game-changing, all things considered, and I think that these things would be a general net positive for the game. Keep in mind, however, that this list is entirely opinionated, and you do not have to agree with me. I tried to refrain from mentioning obvious things that everyone seems to say they want added to the game, you know, stuff like click between frames. I feel like everyone already knows they want that added, and I feel like mentioning that again isn't exactly worth it, so... Most of these are things that I personally want added to the game that I haven't seen anyone suggest, so... With that being said, let's get into the video. The first thing I would like to suggest is the ability to change my vote on a level. Now, in general, I think the voting system, you know, likes to dislike and the difficulty phase system is severely outdated and definitely does need to be updated, and I think the like to dislike system in and of itself might be a bit flawed. However, this seems to be the thing that I think is the biggest issue. If you accidentally like a level you meant to dislike, or if you accidentally dislike a level you meant to like, that's set in stone. You can never change that. So if you accidentally dislike a level that you enjoyed, you can't change it back to a like. It's just permanently disliked now. Same with the demon difficulty faces. Say you beat an auto and you accidentally vote it two star. You can't go back and vote it as an auto. And I think that that's just a general problem all around. Less so for the difficulty faces, because I know that aside of demons, they don't actually influence things that much. But I still think it would be cool if you could re-vote and sort of change your vote on these kinds of things. The next thing I really want to be added to the game is something that I thought was being added in 2.206 because it appeared to be in the sneak peek, but instead it was a different feature entirely. Rob, if for whatever reason you're watching this video, please add a continue from last checkpoint for Platformer. I think it would benefit the mode very nicely. Platformer at the moment can actually be pretty frustrating to play, specifically because there is no save feature. So if you play a really long level and you get about halfway through, or God forbid you get to the last level and it's just a little too frustrating for you at the moment, you want to take a break, you know, maybe it's getting late at night and you want to go to bed, whatever it be, you can't just stop playing. You have to either leave the game running on that level, or you have to quit out and lose all of your progress. And I think that that makes the mode very unenjoyable, especially when a lot of platformer levels tend to end with the hardest room, which just in general makes things a bit more frustrating. I think making it so that if you get to a checkpoint and you quit out of the level, when you go into the level, the level's like, do you want to continue from where you left off? I think that that would benefit platformer mode as a whole very nicely. A lot of people oppose this saying, oh, it'd make the levels easier, but at the end of the day, I know it'll make them easier, but by proxy, it'll also make them more enjoyable. Difficulty shouldn't come from the lack of save points in a level, it should come from the level's raw skill. And I think being able to save wouldn't really nerf levels like I want to be the guy that much, as, I'll be honest, I can't even get to the first checkpoint in that level. It's just too difficult for me. This is another just quality of life thing that I think it'd be very neat if it was added to the game. I think that with the Rob Top levels specifically, since there are achievements for beating them in both normal mode and practice mode, I think it'd be really neat if you got the achievement for beating it in practice when you beat it in normal mode. Hear me out on this one. If you beat a level like Stereo Madness in one attempt, you get the achievement for beating it in normal mode. However, despite that, even though you've done that, you know, maybe you even beat it with all the coins, you still have to play the level again in practice mode just to get a color, which I think is a little bit time-consuming and uh, kind of stupid, honestly, because it racks up your attempt count way more, and just in general, it's annoying for several reasons. This is, of course, one of the smaller things, and it really doesn't matter that much if this one isn't added. It's just a quality-of-life thing that I think would be really neat, as I feel like if you beat the level in normal mode, that's you know, all the practice you need, because, well, you beat the level, so I feel like beating the level in normal mode should also give you the practice achievement. It just makes sense to me. The next change I want to see made to Geometry Dash actually affects the treasure room, and it's a very simple one. When you go into the treasure room and you go to open a key chest, rather than having to open up the chest menu and scroll all the way to where the unopened chests are, why not just have a single button that you click that says open next and it opens the next available chest? 
I think that that would be really, really nice. The next feature is something I honestly don't really see Rob Top adding, but I definitely could see a mod doing this, something like better at it. I think a feature that allows you to sort by editor update objects would be really, really nice. The idea being you go into the editor and there are certain buttons labeled things like 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, all the way to 2.2, and it just separates all of the objects by update. This could allow for creators to make levels using only a certain update's object much easier, and in general, it would also allow people to find objects easier, as I feel like certain people uh, associate certain objects with certain updates, like the 1.9 slopes, for example. I just think it'd be really nice if I could tell the editor to only show me objects from update 1.9, or only show me objects from 2.0. I think that that would be generally very helpful. This next feature is one I very much want to see added to the game. I want the ability to change the menu music volume without affecting level music volume. And if that seems odd, let me explain why. So in 2.2, we got the ability to use any song off of Newgrounds as our menu music, and it's a really nice feature. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this feature. I still think, however, the feature could use a little bit of work, because there is one major downside to it. Some songs are louder than others, and so what can happen is you can pick a song that you really like and you think loops and sounds perfectly for the menu, but then you realize that that song is like a super loud dubstep song, so you turn your game music way down, and then you go to play a level, and that level has a super quiet song, and so you turn it up, and then you leave the level, and you go back to the menu, and now the menu music's really loud, and it's just in general a mess. And I think that it would be very helpful if you could just adjust these two volumes separately so that the menu music can be quiet and the level music can be loud. I think that that would be really nice. Another thing I'd like to see added to Geometry Dash is just having more hard demons in the gauntlets. I don't think it'd be okay to go overboard, like, I don't really want to see any, like, super hard hard demons in the gauntlets, you know, shit like Forest Temple. I think that that might be a little too far. But it would be kind of cool to see some new levels in the gauntlet. Something along the lines of maybe putting nine circles in a gauntlet. I think that that would be really cool. In fact, I could see a gauntlet ending with nine circles as the final level being pretty cool. The main reason I want to see this is because at the moment there's currently only two hard demons in the gauntlets, Darkness Keeper and Nowise, and they kind of come out of left field, and I feel like the gauntlets are kind of Rob Top's in-game progression system in a way. They really do exist to help players improve, and I definitely think that maybe pushing them a little bit farther by adding a couple more hard demons would generally be nice. With Nine Circles as my suggestion for one of the levels they could add, that actually bleeds into my next proposed idea, which is adding more old levels to the game. Pretty simple. Add stuff like maybe Nine Circles or Reanimation. We actually saw this happen recently with Death Moon get added, and I think that that's a very good step in the right direction. But I just think it'd be cool to see a couple more older levels that people don't really talk about much anymore get added, as they are very important to the game's history, in my opinion. Another thing I'd like to see added in Geometry Dash is the No Blending Wave Trail. You've actually seen me use this quite a bit. It is a cosmetic option in Mega Hack, and I always use it because it looks really, really good. You can actually see it in the footage in the background. I love using this wave trail. I think it looks amazing. I prefer it over the vanilla wave trail because the glow wave trail design that you're probably familiar with, unfortunately, it blends in with a lot of backgrounds, especially ones that use brighter colors, and so I've never really been a big fan of it. And I think maybe if Rob made this an unlockable thing that you could enable in the icon kit, kind of like what you can do with glow, I think that would be really nice. On that note, I might as well put this idea idea on the table. Rob Top, please add no wave pulse, and also maybe make it a full wave pulse. What I like to do with Mega Hack with my wave trail is make it so that it's constantly pulsed and not have pulsing enabled. It creates this really nice and very clean look, and I feel like having no wave pulse as an option, and maybe even having beyond that option, minimal wave pulse and maximum wave pulse as options would be really, really nice. 
because I think this looks really good. Another really cool potential feature that I think Rob Top should add is the ability to make separate icon sets for both icons in a duel. There's actually a mod in Geode that lets you do this, and I use it all the time, and I'm going to continue to use it once Geode gets ported to 2.206. This is really nice, because it lets you really customize how your icon set looks beyond just having them automatically mirror in a duel. I think the idea of being able to create color combos like blue and orange and black and white and stuff like that is just a really neat idea, and I think it should go farther and let you just enable completely different icons for both icon sets entirely and just went, go off the walls with the customization here. There's a lot of cool potential things you could do with this mod and just generally with this feature, and I genuinely think Rob Top should consider letting us do this. And for the final thing I think should be added to the game, Rob Top, please fix the lock cursor bug. This bug has existed since 2.200, and basically what it is, is if you beat a level in practice mode and then just restart the level from the practice mode end screen, the lock cursor disables itself, which is really irritating. I'll give Rob Top some slack here. I know that most people play Geometry Dash in full screen and not in windowed, and so it's very likely that this bug is just not well known. But as a windowed mode player, it drives me fucking nuts, and I'd really like to see it get fixed. So that is my list of things that I'd like to see added to Geometry Dash. I was originally going to make this list in 2.204, but knowing that we were getting the bug fix update fairly soon, I waited, and a couple things that were on this list did actually get added. Like, I did mention that I wanted to see the game go 64-bit, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool, because, uh, you know, but this video did get delayed a little bit, and, uh... That being said, now that I'm putting this video out, I hope you enjoyed, and let's hope that some of these features get added to the vanilla game, as I think that that would be very cool.